So Rohit Kapoor, uh, he he was uh, you know with me in ISB uh, when I was uh, there at ISB, okay. and, and I saw his uh, video. Uh, do you know this Bombay Shaving Company? Yes. <laughs> this is, uh, so so the the the, uh, the founder of Bombay Shaving Company, he he has started doing these uh, you know uh, like hourly interviews with some of these uh, people. So Rohit Kapoor is basically uh, he was the CEO of. Uh, uh, Oyo. After that, he was his, their global, uh, you know, chief marketing officer, and then now he has just joined Swiggy as their uh, CEO for like one of the one of the businesses. Uh, mm-hmm. And he gave this uh, interview, which was amazing, and I was inspired by him. I was like, okay, let me try. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this happens, you know, you know, when when you are talking to people. So why I started this entire YouTube, you know, like I started with a pun. So now my entire content regarding SaaS, but when I started, I used to do blogging, food blogging, travel blogging, all these things. But somehow I feel like I'm good in selling SaaS and I need to, you know, work on this. And again, when I started talking to people, I started asking them to come on my, you know, YouTube channel. And that gave me sense that there's so many things which I, even I can learn in, in, in doing this all, all processes. And that also helped me to create a network and all. So yeah, yeah, when you are going and talking for the YouTube, you will learn a lot. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. So first of all, uh, I would like you to explain how you started your journey in life after, you know, IIT, how how that has, you know, entire, you have taken forward, and how you landed in this startup atmosphere and technology atmosphere, how that happened. So Pratik, uh, first of all, this is a very good uh, question. And uh, when you look at my LinkedIn profile, you know, a lot of things would, uh, you would see like, you know, it's pretty well you know, sorted, right? Uh, it, it looks like that, but it didn't happen like that. Okay. So let me tell you very personally how, you know, things uh, happen, all of it, you know, even before IIT, right? So I was, uh, you know, basically born and brought up in a, in a small town called Saharan. Okay. You don't have like a lot of opportunities. So most of my friends will either have their own business uh, or, you know, their father will have like, you know, a bunch of stuff which has been worked out and they knew that after uh, schooling, they will go and, you know, do that. So, uh, you know, when I was in school, I used to spend a lot of time playing. That was my passion. So I would, you know, go give an exam, come back, uh, play some sports, cricket and a lot of other things and go back and you know, do that. And kept doing that till 10th and I was doing well. I was doing well in the school. When I was 11th, I was thinking, I have to go out of this place to get something, uh, do something in my life. I don't have future nahi hai. so that's when uh, i thought ki yaar abhi kya kar sakte hain theek hai to engineering wo ek option hai to engineering ke liye kya karna hai to us samay ke us samay kya hota tha like, uh, there was to be a thing called agarwal classes ha huh? okay wo, wo, wo people used to you know do that uh, for engineering preparation to maine order order karke wo manga liya ab mangwa to liya usme jo questions the wo dekh ke halat kharab ho gayi ki bhai ye kaise matlab how will i even get selected to <laughs> <laughs> get into you know any engineering college leave alone iit and all that so fir uske right. baad uh, you know the whole thing started where i said like nahi karna to hai ye karna hai nahi to main to kuch kar nahi sakte future mein so then i started doing and i started studying and i used to study like you know 15 16 hours whatever i could uh, to to kind of go through it and then finally mm-hmm. you know uh, it happened i went to uh, engineering luckily i got selected in iit and that's where my journey started uh, went into iit and then went back into playing became like the sports secretary of this hostel and all of that so i had a lot of fun nice. fun there uh, mm-hmm. and then as i nikalne ke baad uh, uh, now chemical engineering to kar liya but abhi mm-hmm. karna kya to uh, so, fir uh, do teen offer mile the us samay iit mein तो एक तो इन्फोसिस का था एक ब्रिटानिया में था और एक तीसरा था इंडियन ऑयल तो मैंने सोचा कि यार करना तो इंडियन ऑयल है मार्केटिंग का काम है अच्छा काम रहेगा बट उसका जो स्टार्ट डेट था वो थोड़ा लेट था तो मैंने सोचा यार अभी एक महीना बाकी है तो मैं क्या करता हूँ ब्रिटानिया ज्वाइन कर देता हूँ ठीक है उसके बाद देखेंगे उसके बाद इंडियन ऑयल ज्वाइन कर and then it never happened i continued with uh, with britannia and and that's where i spent a lot of time on in the manufacturing uh, industry in food industry mm-hmm. working on the shop floor working with people uh, so 10 saal ke baad uh, you know chemical engineering to zyada use nahi hua but 
लोगों के साथ काम करना सीख गए एंड देन वन ऑफ द बिगेस्ट थिंग आई लर्न एज अ बिकमिंग इंजीनियर एंड वॉट इंजीनियरिंग टॉट मी वॉज लॉजिकल थिंकिंग एंड एंड दैट इज वन थिंग विच हैज ऑलवेज हेल्प मी एंड यू नो एंड ऑलवेज हेल्प मी यू नो इन माई करियर आफ्टर दैट सो सो वेन आई टॉक अबाउट माई करियर spent a lot of time in manufacturing in different uh, industries uh, in in different geographies as well because i spent some time in in middle east uh, then came back and started my journey in e-commerce space with with amazon uh, and that was a fun journey in india and that continued in us in the meantime i had worked with uh, you know a few startups right uh, quicker was one of them bopa which i did later in my career and 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 that's where you know i found a lot of excitement where uh, when i interact with startups i see uh, you know you guys are doing a lot of uh, work that's going to change the world in the future right uh, and uh, and that gives me excitement right when i talk to startups i talk to the mm-hmm. founders uh, the vision that they have the passion that they have uh is is something which is really exciting for me and that gives me a lot of energy so that's the reason i interact with startups and that's the reason you know i love talking to people like you pratik <laughs> thank you so much so you know like this is very interesting like how you started from iit and then went for a manufacturing companies and then you know moved to startup industries and all so if if i have to ask that what, what was the you know your thought before entering in you know, the entire startup atmosphere what how you used to look at startups industry how you used to think like kya kar rahe hai log do char young bachche hai kya kar rahe hai kya nahi kar rahe kyunki you have worked in you know, a mnc companies right you have worked in a such company where everything is very kind of you know documented very in sync every people mm-hmm. are working in a process but in startup everyone is doing everything right so how you you was you know thinking about this is the industry and how you think now about the startups uh, so uh, you know i had worked in industries where things were you know pretty much sorted out right so right. when i worked with uh, britannia with itc uh, and uh, you know kellogs after that uh, so so a lot of the processes are already sorted out you know a lot of the way people would work is kind of figured out uh and uh, and still we had so many problems right uh, yeah. so so even when you have all these processes there are like so many things people are not happy about there are so many things that uh, you know are getting stuck uh and uh, so 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 that's the the kind of world you live with when you work in a traditional uh, corporate company now when i you know went into startup had my interaction with startup world uh the thing that really excited me is uh, you can actually set your own path right uh, so you know it's not just uh, for you but also the, the the team that you have they work very closely together uh, they they don't have most of the solutions but they have the will to create most of the solutions and uh, and they can you know basically learn from uh, or bring the experience that they already have to do it right this time right? Uh, right because many of us uh, who had worked in more traditional companies uh, they have uh, been impacted by uh, let's say policies that had been established by someone else right uh, and then when you were impacted you either feel good about those policies or you feel like bad about those policies now what you do is that you you take the the policies that you like and then you know implement them in the startup and then you change the policies that you don't like and say like okay we are going to do it differently in in the startup and people agree to it right uh, and that's the fun part of startup like you know people are open for you to experiment they are open for you to try new things and you do that and then if they work you feel good about it uh, because you are impacting people uh, you know positively hopefully positively uh, right. with the things that you are putting in place right so now you're also giving advisory to so many startups right you are shaping them to you know grow and make them helping them to make big right so what is the common myth about your job or your field which you know anybody think like aisa nahi aisa hota but that is a myth so uh, uh, you know i need to think uh, you know to before i answer that question <clears throat> so so lot of times you know a lot of times uh, people will uh, think that uh, i will get in touch with with someone who has let's say uh, contacts uh, they will help me in you know maybe get get more funding right uh, mm-hmm. or they might be like okay uh, you would uh, probably this person will have a trick which will you know solve 
uh, or provide a quick solution to, to the thing I'm thinking or the problem I'm, I'm facing, right? Uh, in my view, uh, you know, both of these things are, uh, are a myth. Uh, and, and this is something I always push uh, the, the team is that you have to figure out your own solution, right? Because you would always have uh, a better answer than anyone else from outside can and provide you that, that answer, right? From right. my end, you know, what I can do is I can ask you, uh, you know, some, some good questions, right? Uh, which will right. help you get to the, the right answer. Right. Uh, but uh, if I tell you like, okay, do it this way, most of the time I would be wrong. Uh, and on the other hand, if I, you know, ask you all the right questions that I have, you know, gone through and kind of had those questions either asked me or those questions came to my mind while I was, you know, uh, working in different uh, roles. Uh, so I try to, you know, kind of go back and ask those questions and hopefully uh, you will have answers. Uh, if not now, you will figure out those answers and then those answers will be much better answers than anyone can provide you. Uh, so that would be my response to the, the difficult question you have, uh, Pratik. I don't know if I answered that, you know, this properly. <laughs> Uh, right. So you you meet with so many entrepreneurs, right, on a day to day basis, right? What is the common thing you you know common thing you find in every entrepreneur who are going to be successful in future? Like, a vibe comes, right? This person is going to make it, right? That this person is going to make it in a you know big list kind of thing. So what is the common thing you find in every those kind of people? Yeah. So um, the, let me you know. Uh, tell you the way I look at this uh, whole ecosystem and then, you know, especially the, the founders who basically run this and lead this, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so I would say, probably I would say three things, right? Uh, which is very critical. Uh, the first is, uh, you know, passion to impact your customers, right? And that has to be very clear, right? You know, that, that has to be clear that, you know, this is what I want to do and I'm like really passionate about it. And I will do, you know, anything to, to kind of make sure that my customers are happy with uh, what I'm providing. So that's, uh, you know, one key thing that I look at. The second thing is, uh, you know, which, which, is, uh, which is very critical is, uh, you know, not to give up, right? Uh, so never say, uh, you know, I don't know how, how you put it. You actually say like, you know, you never say die attitude, right? You know, you don't, uh, you, know, you just keep keep at it, right? Because this is going to happen, right? You will face a lot of hurdles in, in the startup world, whether it is to do with uh, finances, whether it's to do with hiring the right uh, talent, whether it's to do with, uh, you know, uh, making your uh, company popular, uh, with, with your customer base. So all of these things are hard, right? Uh, and a lot of times you will end up in a situation where you would say that, uh, yeah, both of you are, we are, this is enough, right? Oh, yeah. but, but, but then having that passion to, you know, continuously be at it, keep motivating your team to take them along uh, is, I would say, like the second uh, most important thing I would look at uh, in, in, the, in the founders. And in the third thing, uh, which is probably the most important is like ability to attract talent, right? Uh, because when you are starting something new, people are coming because of you and not because of your company, right? Uh, and it's not just applies to the founder, it applies to each and every member that uh, is part of the founding team in a, in a startup, right? Uh, and if you are able to do that as a, as a founder, uh, I think that is uh, super critical for, for a successful startup. Right. And I, I personally believe that, you know, every startup should have a, you know, a brand ambassador of their company. I, I personally believe that if anyone from your company, any startup don't have a face who is presenting the entire startup, who is attracting the customer, who is attracting the young people who wanted to work for you, they, you your company will not make that kind of news, right? Uh, so even the com people like Elon Musk, Tesla is famous because of Elon Musk. Elon Musk is not famous for Tesla, right? This is what kind of brand he have created. Same with the Sundar Pichai. He have created that brand, right? So this kind of ad brand ambassador you need in your organization. That is true. That That is totally true. Uh, how you manage your work-life balance? So, you know, I, I think I read... Uh, somewhere right if you if you are working on on on, on something you're passionate about is you, you you don't have to work uh, you know ever in your life right so 
as long as uh, you know i'm working on things which are interesting as long as i'm you know spending time uh, whether it's learning or is uh, you know uh, teaching uh, if you are having a good interaction if you are learning new things yourself um, uh, it's it's you can spend the uh, you know time and the time will uh, flow right um, so uh, when i talk about uh, a lot of people talk about work work life balance uh, you know it's it, at the end of the day i think it's uh, it's basically uh it's it's kind of a balance sheet between uh, how much energy you you give uh, on on something you don't like let's say so much and uh, how much energy you are able to draw on working on something that you are really enjoy right uh, that that's the balance you need to you know kind of build in your life right whether uh, you do it with your family whether you do it on things you're passionate about you know it can be it can be sports it can be gardening it can be you know playing with your pets uh, whatever it can be which gives you you know energy back you need to kind of create that balance between between two of these things right as long as you are able to do it and it depends on on the person right something which uh, is uh, i'm passionate about your passion would be something else right? Uh, right so each and every person has to figure out you know what are the things that uh, they can do which basically gives the energy back to them and they can it gets re- they can get rejuvenated to kind of you know now do something which will draw some energy for from their end uh, so that's how i think about it <laughs> pradeep right right so you know even even there are so many things so lots of people ask me that how you keep that energy you know that level how you so enthusiastic about sales and also i never understand why this is not possible you know even working in a sales you can love the process you can love the sales right most of the sales people are afraid of numbers they are just like doing on the sake of money ki nahi paisa nahi hai to sales kare but i love this entire sales process i love the way we are doing dealing with the customer solving the problem client gali bhi de raha that also i love <laughs> that is a learning part right you you mentioned very unique thing right you mentioned about the passion for the work which you are doing right so if you could start a business tomorrow right what would that business be i i don't know pratik i you know uh, see as i said uh, you know what is uh, most important from my standpoint is uh, you know i should be impacting uh, uh, the customer um positively making a difference in their lives right uh, and uh, so one of the things i'm actually passionate about is is cooking and uh, okay. at some point uh, maybe i can start uh, you know a business uh, which involves uh, you know food uh, i don't know when that will happen but at some point it might happen in my life uh, and i would be happy if it actually does uh, so um, but at the end of the day you know it it doesn't matter uh, you know what exactly your uh, business is Uh, because it's a function of uh, you know what you are passionate about as a person and it will vary from person to person uh, but from my standpoint it would be something where you know you can possibly impact your customer they can come back and say like yeah i mean i had this uh, product or a service uh, which i felt really good about and they can go and talk to you know five different people uh, positively about it uh, and that's how you know i think businesses are built and businesses are grown uh you know if i can do that i get that great idea i would definitely you know start it tomorrow so last question definitely you know i can see lots of book behind you so what is the best three books which you like to recommend for our viewers so uh, very very good question so i love reading books uh, and uh, so uh, if you ask me three three books uh, so there is this uh, one book i was reading recently uh, it's it's a good book uh, you know i would recommend think and grow rich by napoleon hill uh, so that's one then the second one i would say is uh, delivering happiness so this is by tony she uh, tony she was the uh, founder of zappos and uh, mm-hmm. he basically wrote this book amazing book uh, you know i would definitely recommend for uh, people to read but also uh, definitely i recommend uh, the startup uh, uh people who are in startup world to definitely read this book and the third okay. one it's a very nice book uh, you know i would recommend it's called go giver uh go giver yeah it's by uh, bob berg and john david man uh so again this is uh, this is in line with uh, you know i the one of the things i was mentioning 
uh, which is basically, you know, you need to give uh, more uh, and, and that, that always works, right? So these are right. three things, right? Uh, go giver, uh, think and grow rich and delivery happiness, I would recommend. Right. And thank you so much for delivering happiness to all of us. <laughs> thanks thanks for the, it was really nice you know talking to you uh, and and yeah all the best all the best for what what you're doing thank you I'm, I'm sure that people will definitely like to see you again on this channel and i'm hoping that you'll give us time once again in future yeah sure sure i would love to do that uh, you know pretty thanks a lot mm -hmm.